Hello everyone, this is Joshua Smith of Apollo's Artifacts. It is the summer of 2018, and I thought since I mentioned homeschooling recently in a podcast and a YouTube video that I did on uh, some of the work of Dr. Duke Pesta, that I would go ahead and put together some of these uh, facts and data so that you could uh, take them in for consideration. Uh, one of the sources here is from a Dr. Brian Ray of the National Home Education Research Institute, and he has a piece of work that he put out here in January 2018 called Research Facts on Homeschooling, the Homeschool Fast Facts. And under the category of General Facts, Statistics, and Trends, he shows that there are about 2.3 million home-educated students in the United States as of the spring of 2016. And he shows that uh, this number has been growing at an estimated rate of 2 to 8% per year over the last uh, few years. He also goes on to show that this growing trend is not uh, confined to the United States, but home-based education also has been increasing around the world in places such as Australia, Canada, France, Hungary, Japan, Kenya, Russia, Mexico, South Korea, Thailand, and the United Kingdom. He says, uh, demographically, the people are rather diverse. Uh, there are atheists, there are Christians, there are Mormons, conservatives, libertarians, and liberals, uh, people from low, middle, and high income backgrounds, black families, Hispanic families, white families. Uh, the parents uh, can have uh, PhDs, master's degrees, even uh, somewhat GEDs, and even no high school diploma whatsoever. Uh, but statistically, that is not the most uh, common thing. Statistically, the most common is that they have at least a four-year degree. Homeschooling has indeed turned into an industry now that uh, represents, uh, he says, a little over $27 billion in annual revenue. Approximately 3.4 million U.S. adults have been homeschooled for at least one year of their K-12 through years. Under the category of academic performance, the home educated typically score 15 to 30 percentile points above public school students on standardized academic achievement tests. A 2015 study found black homeschool students to be scoring 23 to 42 percentage points above black public school students. Homeschool students score above average on achievement tests regardless of their parents' level of formal education or their family's household income. That alone should explode a number of myths that people hold about education. Degree of state control and regulation of homeschooling is not related to academic achievement overall. Home educated students typically score above average on both the SAT and the ACT, which are tests that uh, most universities uh, consider for admissions, although the University of Chicago has recently dropped some of those considerations. He also points out here that there is a highly disproportionate number of public school special education students who are boys and that boys are 2.5 times as likely as girls in public schools to be diagnosed with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, ADHD or ADD. And in reference to this, you can go back and check out my short history of the DSM, which uh, shows some of the problems with the classification and categorization of psychological issues such as ADD and ADHD and why those are very often misdiagnosed and overdiagnosed. I'll link that below. And in 2016, a Kyle Greenwalt wrote an article for U.S. News and World Report titled, Here's How Homeschooling is Changing in America. What's the Impact of More Homeschoolers on the Public School System? Where he documents many of these trends and the increasing numbers and the overall impact nationally of homeschooling. And he points out that uh, homeschooling, uh, the movement uh, overall first emerged in earnest during the 1980s, back when it was largely led by evangelical Christians who wanted to get their uh, students out of the public school indoctrination centers, which they have uh, been turning into for quite some time. Under the category of early trends, he says here, Homeschooling was actually common up until the late 19th century. Most children received a substantial portion of their education within the home. In the late 19th century, states started passing compulsory attendance laws. These laws compelled all children to attend public schools or a private alternative. And uh, much of this is also documented in a book that I've been covering on the show 
recently called the Secular Revolution. In fact, there's an entire chapter dedicated to this portion alone about how the public education and schooling system was changed from within and then made compulsory through uh, the legal system. Anyway, he says here that it was in the 1970s that American educator John Holt emerged as a proponent of homeschooling. He challenged the notion that the formal school system provided the best place for children to learn. By the 1980s, homeschooling families had emerged as an organized public movement. During that decade, more than 20 states went on to legalize homeschooling. For the most part, it were, was evangelical Christians who led these battles in organizations such as the Homeschool Legal Defense Association. Over time, they were able to win these battles in the courts, and now homeschooling is legal in all 50 states. Data from the National Center for Education Statistics, the NCES, shows in 2008 only 36% of the homeschooling families in their survey chose the desire for religious or moral instruction as their primary reason. Other reasons were listed uh, which were related to the school environment itself, especially the safety issue and, of course, with the massive uh, number of school shootings we've seen lately, you can see why people would not want to be sending their children into places like that. And I found some additional data at a website called A to Z uh, Homeschooling, and it has some statistics from 2017 and 18. This was published in 2017. 17 and uh, has been updated since then. Primarily, it appears that the data was drawn from the census. And I'll go over a sort of random sampling of states so you can get a concept of uh, the first figure I'll give will be the total number of children who are age 5 to 17, and then the number after that will be the number of homeschoolers. So for the state of Alabama, 873,600. Uh, school-aged children, of which 24,200 are homeschooled. California, 7.182 million uh, overall students, with 198,900 being homeschooled. Connecticut, this is the extreme low figure here by percentage, 638,664 school-aged children, with only 1,752 being homeschooled. That's only 0.267% kind of stunning. I don't know why that is the case. State of Florida, 3.153 million school age, 89,821 who are homeschooled. Georgia, 1.944 million with 53,852 homeschooled. Illinois, 2.391 million students, 66,250 homeschooled. Michigan, 1.8 million students, about 50,000 homeschooled. New Jersey, 1.598 million with 44,282 homeschooled. New York, 3.3 million with 91,500 homeschooled. North Carolina, this is the extreme high number of percentage who are homeschooled. 1.789 million with 131,295 homeschooled for a figure of 7.26%. Ohio, 2 uh, 2.096 million with 58,000 homeschooled. Pennsylvania, 2.148 million, 22,316 homeschooled. Tennessee, 1.166 million with 32,297 homeschooled. Texas, 5.44 million with 150,000 and uh, 700 homeschooled. And under the final portion here where they're covering some of the statistical data of the families uh, that comprise homeschooling, it shows that uh, most have at least a, one of the two parents have at least a four-year college degree. Most of the households are comprised of two parents and at least three children. And that's uh, sort of just a rapid uh, overview of the raw data. Uh, please be sure to thumbs up, like, subscribe, uh, ding the bell to receive notifications and all of that. Thank you.